The 2023 college football season is just around the corner and UTEP has added some familiar faces to its roster for the upcoming campaign. You, uh, KTSM learning today that former America's high school, New Mexico and Washington running back Aaron Dumas is back home. He will play for the minors this fall. That's not it. 2022's top receiver Tyron Smith is also officially back at UTEP. Both guys are currently going through offseason workouts with the minors. Dumas is El Paso's single season rushing touchdown leader. He led New Mexico in rushing as a true freshman as well with the Lobos in 2021 before transferring to Washington. Dumas did not play for the Huskies in 2022, transferring to Utah after UW finished spring football. Now Smith, meanwhile, led the Miners in receiving last year over a thousand yards. He transferred to Texas A&M in January. However, he immediately had second thoughts and never actually worked out with the Aggies, but attended school in College Station during the spring semester with the intention of always returning back to Utah. Now that he is officially back, both these guys could be huge for the Miners this coming fall. The Miners also securing one of the top Sun City wide receivers from the last couple of years today as Montwood's Jamil Oaxaca announced he was transferring to UTEP after playing the 2022 campaign at UT Permian Basin. Oaxaca was arguably the best receiver in El Paso in 2021. He could eventually fill a void left in the U Miners receiving core by Ray Flores in 2023. Sticking with the uh, gridiron news, former UTEP defensive end Jadrian Taylor drafted into the XFL today by the St. Louis Battle Hawks. This comes after he was signed by CFL's Winnipeg Blue Bombers in May as a free agent. Taylor ended his UTEP career third on the all-time sack list, racking up nine and a half of them in 2022.